EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports! It's in the game! It's in the game! Yeah! NCAA Football 2005. This is Athens, Georgia, a calm little community that's about to get shaken up with a college football rumble. And I hope these fans are as bundled up as I am for today's matchup between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Georgia Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. I'm Brad Nessler, and with me in the booth, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. It's time for clean, old-fashioned hate, a rivalry that dates back to 1893. The Bulldogs are much too powerful to be stopped in this game. Kirk, what are your thoughts? Yeah, unfortunately, this one won't be much of a contest. Georgia is lucky to have such a force at defensive end. Offense is game-planned around him, and I wouldn't expect to see many runs to his side. The rest of the defense is just as good, and they'll dominate in this game. Forget about it. Georgia Tech is not going to be able to slow down this rushing attack, and I'm going to tell you why. That defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk, and they're going to lose this one big. for the opening kick. Here's the kick. Number 31 fields it at the seven. He's hit and got Ooh. away. <laughs> They'll start this drive at the 26. The Bulldogs come out in a shotgun. Inside you, with the spin, bounces off the would-be tackler. And down he goes. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. Second and four. Ball on their own 32. They come out with four wide out. Drops back to pass, looking, short toss, and it's caught. He's into the open field, and they make the stop, and they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. It's first and 10, ball on the 44. The Bulldogs line up with three wide, throws a lob pass out to the right, Incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. The Bulldogs line up in an I formation. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. And it falls incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 44. Georgia Tech lines up with five defensive backs. Back to pass. Looks. Rolling out to the left side. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And down he goes. Boy, they got some major heat on the quarterback that time. Well, that's the whole goal of the defense. They're going to attack him by bringing multiple looks and blitzing from the linebackers in the secondary to try to confuse him. So they're set to punt this one away. Number 95 gets it off. 
Number two takes it at the 20. And now we get to see this offense for the first time as they head out onto the field. They'll set up shot at the 26-yard line. Georgia lines up in a dime defense here. They'll throw on first down. No one open, so he's going to run. And he's taken down. They made him pay with that run. Yeah, and a quarterback is so dangerous because he can beat you throwing or running. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 37. Inside give, and they got him for a loss. He didn't really have a chance on that play. Boy, guys, how about the defense on this play? They sniffed that play out from the start. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. It's a bad snap. Across the middle. Brought down. Number Seven eight, yards eight, there. Seven yard gain on the play. Third it's third down and five to go. Ball on the 42. Georgia comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Throws it to the outside. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. No surprise here as they prepare to put it away. Number 14 gets it off. Number 31 fields at the 29. He tries to spin. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll take over at the 34-yard line. Number 14 with four wide receivers. Snap is high. And they try to set up a screen. And he drops it. The quarterback found an open receiver, but he dropped it. I don't expect this guy to drop another one like that anytime soon because he could have had six, and he knows it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. Georgia comes out with an eye formation. And he's tackled. A pickup of five. Five-yard gain. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Bulldogs line up in the power eye formation. Drops back to pass. Pressure coming. Down the middle. Oh, great hit. And down he goes. Oh, my, that long game gives him a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. Georgia Tech brings in their nickel package. He's looking across the middle. Complete, and he's taken down. Short pass there, and they get a moderate gain. There's nothing wrong with Mitchell and Diamond up down the field. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 33. Number 14 is back in the gun. They'll go with the run once again. Tackle. A first down run by the tailback. Anytime you have an aggressive defense like this, mixing in a draw player or two can soften them up a little. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26. Number 14 lines up in the shotgun. Uh-oh, high snap. They'll bring him down. The quarterback keeps it and gets five yards. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. 
steps up. He'll dump this one off. And it's gone. And they make the stop. What a catch. And that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense. But I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. And that's the end of the quarter. We're scoreless after one. This offense is a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they can make the most of it. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. The Bulldogs come out of the power eye, throws off his back foot. Looked like the defense just forgot about the tight end on that play. Yeah, he seemed to slip right through the secondary and find an opening. I can't believe the defense allowed that to happen. Especially in the red zone, Kurt. They gotta be aware of this guy's pass catching ability. on the extra point. So with just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter, the score, Georgia, seven, Georgia Tech, nothing. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. Number two and number three back to return. And this one's a short kick. Number three feels it at the 17. Yippoo. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. Well, they had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll get the ball here at the 32. The Yellow Jackets with four receivers. Inside handoff. And he's tackled. Three-yard gain by the running back. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 35. Georgia Tech comes to the line with three wide. He drops back. Let's it go. Complete. He spins. And down he goes. That reception good for around four yards. We've got third and three here. Ball on their own 39. The Yellow Jackets line up in a goal line formation. They go with the run. Brought down. The offense will leave the field after failing to get a first down. And give credit to the defensive players who made the necessary stops on that sequence of play. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. He punts it. Number 31 fields it at the 24. The 50. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Number 14 has four receivers lined up here. Back to pass. He's looking down the middle. Oh, great catch. Tackle. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him.
First and 10. Ball on the 23. Number 14 is back in the gun. They'll throw on first down. He's going left. Someone got a hand on it. Coach, he made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. He just stuck his hand out and hit the football. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket with the throw. It's deflected. Nice defensive play. The thing I like here is watch the awareness by the defender. Look how he reads this play, focuses on the ball once it's thrown, and then breaks on the ball to deflect it away. That's tremendous effort. The Yellow Jackets bring in the nickel package. He drops back. He steps up, looking. Here comes the pressure, and he's hammered as he lets it go. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Comes in to attempt the field goal, and this will make it a two-score game. The kick is up. And it's off the crossbar. No good. They'll go to work at the 23. Georgia Tech goes with the ace set here. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Back to pass. He's under pressure. He's looking for his man. He's got him up. And down he goes. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big gain. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 28. Georgia Tech comes out of the shotgun. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Wants to throw outside at the point. And he's brought down. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Well, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender. And he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36. Number one with four wide receivers. He's under some heat. Throws it deep downfield. Brings it in. Touchdown. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defender. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Georgia Tech 7, Georgia 7. They're ready for the kickoff. Number 23, back to return. He kicks it. Number 31 takes it at the eight. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kicker has to wait on the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. Going with the shotgun here. They'll throw on first down. Got it. They'll bring him down. Good yardage there. That'll move the sticks. Nice time to call pass here. It looked like the defense might have been looking run. First 
First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Georgia lines up with three receivers. Over the middle. And they make the stop at the 39. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39. The Bulldogs go with the eye formation. They go with a toss. Throws this one out to the left. He's got it! And he's taken down. And the trickery pays off with a nice gain and a first down. Georgia calls a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 26. The Bulldogs come out in a shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He's going left. Got it to his receiver. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. it to the outside. Incomplete pass. They call it out of bounds. No catch. Good call by the official. The receiver made a tremendous catch here, but you can see clearly he didn't have possession of the football when he was in bounds. They're lining up in the 5-2. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Looks. Throws. And that one's fallen incomplete. That one was thrown in the direction of the tight end. And as a coach, you hate to see the perfect play call wasted because of poor execution. You know, the quarterback just overshot this time. Georgia comes out in the shotgun. And he's going to lose yards on this one. The quarterback draw, not successful there. Nope, and I'm going to tell you why. This defense was not fooled at all on that play. Here comes the kicker. He'll try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up, and it's right down the middle. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive somewhere. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number three. Takes it to 15. They'll take over at the 36-yard line. Georgia puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. He's looking. Here they come. Across the middle. And this one's going to get intercepted. At the 40. Inside the 30. Brought down. Half 
halftime here. The score at the break. Georgia, 10. Georgia Tech, 7. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. Short kickoff. Number two takes it at the 14. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping on the receiving team. 15 yards from the spot of the That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. They'll start this drive at the 15. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Tackle. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. Second and seven. Ball on the 18-yard line. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Back to pass. He's going to go for the home run. And it's incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 18. Number one with three wide receivers. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He pumps once. Looks like he's going to run. He zoomed him out of his shoes. And he turned that one into a nice game. Brad, this is a spectacular play by the quarterback. He caught the defense napping and whew, he took off. It's first and ten. All on the 29-yard line. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Play action down the middle. The ball is tipped. The linebacker managed to break that one up. Second and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. They come out with three wide receivers. Nice play fake. Across the middle. Missed tackle. The 50. And they bring him down. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Inside you. And down he goes. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty. He held him up on that play. It looked like he just grabbed his jersey and just refused to let it go. First and long. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Yellow Jackets line up with four wideouts. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He jukes, and he's tackled. Second and eight coming up here. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. 
The Yellow Jackets come out in a shotgun. They'll bring him down. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Bulldogs bring in their dive package. Wants to throw outside. It falls incomplete. I guess they're going to punt it here, but I sure would have had some thoughts about going for it. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. It's tipped. They couldn't convert that fourth down. Boy, look at these guys out there. They are fired up. Now let's see if it's going to lead to any points. They'll get the ball here at the 43-yard line. From the gun, dropping back to pass. Short toss. And they make the stop, so it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 46-yard line. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete. Wow, that pass had some velocity, Kirk. Well, I think here the quarterback panicked a little bit and rifled it as hard as he could. They're down in seven. Ball on their own 46. They come out in a nickel. He drops back. He's going right. Incomplete pass. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. So they're set to punt this one away. Number two. Number 95. Boots it way up there. Number two calls for the fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 21-yard line. The offense heads out onto the field. On their last series, they opted to try and convert a fourth down, and they came up short. Number 45, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. Brought down. The pickup of five. Five-yard gain on the play. Second down and five. Ball on their own 26. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. Drops back to pass. Across the middle. Got it. And he's taken down. What an outstanding play that was. Yo, that was a perfectly designed pass play. And they ran it to perfection. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. Georgia lines up with five defensive backs. They hand it off. And he is drilled. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad. It's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. Second and 11, ball on the 50. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Back to pass. Watch the middle. Got him again. Tackle. 
What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. A field goal is the difference as we head to the fourth quarter. It's first and ten, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Georgia Tech lines up in a shotgun set. And the snap goes to the back. Broke away from one, and he's tackled. A gain of nine yards on the play. Second and one coming up here. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Yellow Jackets with four receivers. Toss. And down he goes. He picked up a first down on that run, Coach. Yeah, you know, if they pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open the play action pass. First and ten, ball on the 19-yard line. It's getting louder down in the field. The offense is doing everything they can just to call the plays, and right now, they're not having much luck at all. Another run. Get past the tackler. They'll bring him down. A pickup of about three. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 16-yard line. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Handoff up the middle. And he's tackled. A two-yard run by the halfback. It's third down and five to go. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Yellow Jacket set up in the gun. Inside gear. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Yeah, great upfield rush here by the defensive end. He comes around and manages to get his hands on the ball carrier. That's a terrific play. Comes out to try and tie things up. It's up, and it is good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. and ready for the kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Number 31 fields it at the one. So the offense takes over. The last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll go to work at the 26. 26-yard line. The Bulldogs go with the I formation. Tackle. Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 33. Georgia comes out in the shotgun, throws it out there. Can't make the catch. A wideout unable to catch that pass. We've got third and three here. Ball on the 33. 
The Bulldog. Line up in the power eye formation. Makes a move. And they make the stop. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. They'll give it off here. And he's taken down. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Second and six coming up here. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Yellow Jackets line up in a nickel back. Throws, fumbles the ball. Congratulations to our players of the game. Brought to you by Old Spice. The Bulldogs line up with four wideouts. He steps up, looking. He gives a pump fake. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Looks like he tried to force that one. And defense was in his zone there, and the quarterback needs to do a better job of finding a passing window to throw through. Well, that window must have been tinted because he almost threw a pick. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. He gets it away. Number two takes it to 28, takes off a tackle. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They'll take over at the 36-yard line. It's getting louder down in the field. He drops back. He has some room. No one open, so he's going to run. Seven-yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. Georgia Tech takes a timeout. Second and three. Ball on the 43-yard line. Number one comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He gets rid of it. That is ball. The touch pass is tipped away. Incomplete. As a quarterback, you've got to know when to throw the ball with a touch and when to fire it in there. That wasn't a touch situation. That looked more like a slow pitch softball kind of situation. We could have knocked that one out of the park. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 43. And this stadium is getting loud. Back to pass, throws, and it's caught, and down he goes. Georgia Tech holds a timeout. First and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. The intensity of this place is increasing. Looks, throws this one out to the right. Someone got a hand on it. And the corner got in there and broke that one up. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Bulldogs line up with six defensive backs. He drops back. And now he's going to improvise. They'll bring him down. pass. Pressure coming. He tosses it short. The pressure may have forced the incompletion there. That defense was about to plant him into the ground. He's lucky he even got that ball off. It's fourth down and the punt team lines up. Number 14 gets it off. Number 17 signals for a fair catch. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. 
They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Georgia comes out with an eye formation. They'll throw on first down. Under pressure. One throw screen. And they make the stop at the 21 yard line. Georgia takes a timeout. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 21. The Bulldog. Come out in a shotgun. Back to pass. He's looking. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He's looking down the middle. And he's taken down. Georgia calls a timeout. It's third down and four to go. Ball on their own 26. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Got him again. Brought down. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Georgia brings in the nickel here. They'll throw on first down. He has some room. Looks like he's going to run. And they make the stop. He picked up the first down on that run. Brad, this kid can hurt you in so many ways, and he just showed one way right there. They're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane. They'll throw on first down. Watch the throw screen. Complete. And down he goes. Nothing gained on the play. Number 45 is the single setback. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. There's the play fake. Looking down the middle. He's got it. Touchdown. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. It's the PAT. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Well, the offense did their part. Now it's time for the defense to take over. And this is a very high pressure situation for an offense to face. If you don't score a touchdown, you lose. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25 yard line. The Bulldogs line up with four wideouts. Here's the give. Shifty move there. Brought down. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. First and ten. They're in the red zone. Number 14 lines up in the shotgun. They snap it to the back. Tackle. What a huge run. Remember, this kid can fly. You saw in that run how he just took off and left everybody else looking like they got lead in their shoes. Let's 
Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Georgia! Well executed play there. Good blocking by the big guys, and the running back takes it right in. That's how it's done. Listen, that's what you do when you get up close to the end zone. You find a way to finish it off, and that's exactly what they did. on the extra point. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. It's first and ten. Ball in the 25. The Bulldog set up in the gun. misdirection spins up the field and they make the stop and that was an excellent run there yeah that was great blocking brad up front by the offensive line to open up that hole first and ten they're threatening inside the 20 the bulldogs line up with three wide looks here comes the pressure Caught, and they hit him in the backfield. Nothing gained on the play. No gain on the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. The Bulldog come out in the shotgun. He's hit and got away. Brought down. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. About 12 yards out. They'll bring in their dime package. Bad snap from center. Goes to the end zone. Outstanding play to the wide receiver as he took at the distance. It's almost if the receiver told the defense it back. You think you can cover me? I'll see you in the end zone. Yo. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. Well, the offense did their part. Now it's time for the defense to take over. And this is a very high-pressure situation for an offense to face. If you don't score a touchdown, you lose. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He jukes him. And they got him for a loss. And they'll lose a yard there. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 26. The Yellow Jackets with four receivers. He drops back. He's going long. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He missed his man there. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more patient down there, close to the end zone. Third and 11, ball on the 26-yard line. This place is starting to get fired up. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. It falls incomplete. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts. But give me a break. And this place is rocking. That snap. 
snap from center. Looking. Here's the long ball. Left side. Incomplete. And this one finally comes to an end in overtime. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, I love overtime in college football. There are so many ups and downs. It's just like a roller coaster. Georgia was fortunate enough to come out on top of this one. But really, both teams deserve a lot of credit for a hard-fought game. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2005. We hope you join us again soon. Again, our final score, Georgia 24. Georgia Tech, 17. From all of us here at EA Sports, we hope to see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody.